So, what would be success for Arsenal this season? It's a good question. Very good question. For me, success for Arsenal is having a clear plan moving forward. I think this is a season of transition and I'm tired of the overall media pressure on managers that, that when they come into a job. I, I look back to Alex Ferguson, Sir Alex Ferguson. It took him five years to get his club to where he wanted it to be. And then they had 20 years of consistent success. I'm tired of the turnover of managers that we keep speaking about. If you want managers to be able to do the job to the best of ability, you need to give them time to implement their philosophy. And what I've seen from the first two games from Unai Emery, for me, is really encouraging. Forget the results, he's laying down the foundation, he's laying down the process of the way he wants to play. And I think, given time, he could be a success at Arsenal, but only if he's given time and he's given respect from the, from the powers above him. That's fair enough, but what would you regard as success? What's, what's, the, what's the bar, Steve? They finished sixth last season, so would you expect them certainly to improve upon that? Or do you think Arsenal fans have got to take a broader picture and might drop even below that? I think they would, would want to do as good as last year, a top six finish. Mm. I don't think it would be achievable. They have to adapt to his style. He's not going to change his style. Mm. If we're talking earlier about him changing to the players or the players changing to him. Now, obviously, he's come in with a style of play that he's been very successful uh, with in his career of a compact defence, pressing from the front. If, it, before he would took the job, he would have known the players. He would have looked at it and gone, right, mm. these are the players I can work with. Am I, A, going to take this job? Is it good for me? He's decided to take the job, so he knows what he's got to work with. If, if, they, if they can't do it, he'll get them out and he'll get new ones in. But for that, he needs time, he needs transfer windows. So, it's, we're talking about Arsene Wenger and the 20-year career that he's had exactly. there and the DNA that's been there. The, the, it's going to take time for the, the old habits that players have had there. Because I think in previous years, it just looked a little bit easy-ozy for Arsenal players. Yeah. There was no real hunger or desire. If they went a goal down, it was OK. You know, it, it wasn't like a burning desire to get back yeah. in the game. But we did see that at Stamford Bridge. Well, it's, so it's, there is an improvement. It's actually, it's actually quite interesting uh, listening to Henrik Mkhitaryan early on today. Mkhitaryan was talking about the difference between playing under Wenger and Unai Emery. Mm. Emery kept the, the philosophy of Wenger, but he's building something new on it because uh, he knows that uh, he can give something uh, different to this club, like the balance in between the attack and the defence. And uh, of course, uh, it's not easy, but uh, I think uh, he's doing it in the right way. Liam, key word there, balance. Balance, I think patience is another key word. I think Arsenal fans have to ask themselves a question. Would they want to get a short-term kind of manager in, maybe finish third or fourth this season, but over the next five or six years, go through another period of stagnation? Or would they rather... When you, when you follow a manager that's been a manager for over 20 years, it takes so much time, not just change the style of play, change the whole culture of a football yeah. club. You see the problems that Manchester United are still having now, numerous years after Sir Alex Ferguson has left the club. It's a huge job for Unai Emery, and I like, really like the way he's gone about it, because he's gone in there and he said, this is the way I want to play, I'm going to put my stamp on the, fo on the football team. And in two games, I see a clear difference, by the way, between yeah. Arsenal of last year and Arsenal of this year. Take the results out of it. I see a difference in the intensity. I see a difference in, in them out of possession. I see a difference in them in terms of their transitions, how intense they are and they're willing to press the ball. I see a lot of things that, given time and long term, they're going to be a much better team than they have been over the last two or three years. But there has to be an understanding that if you want things to work long term, you need to have a plan in place and a process, and he, I think he's going to give them that. So when you look at the statistics from Arsenal's start to the season, mm. what do you see? What, what do these numbers here, what do they tell you about the changes you've seen so far? Yeah, so you've got to take into account they've played, they've played against Manchester City and Chelsea in their first two games. But I look at the, that one at the bottom, distance covered. Would we ever say that an Arsenal team in years gone by would be top in terms of distance covered, in terms of, in, in ter in terms of that? I don't think you would. And in terms of errors leading to shots, the lowest. So for me, I think they are, they are on the right track. But in terms of management, you can't look at results all the time. You have to look at a process. And I think the Arsenal fans, they are, they're an educated group of fans and I think they, they will understand what he's trying to do. So you shouldn't necessarily measure success either in trophies or league placing? Well, Arsenal are a massive football club. You know, yeah. They've been very successful, haven't they, in, in the Premier League and, and, and 
took team to the wire and, and obviously won Premier League titles himself. But it's going to take time. I think Rosie hit the nail on the head there earlier with what happened with Sir Alex Ferguson after a 20-year period or however long he was at the football club and then what's happened now to them. Arsenal have got to be looking at that and saying, we don't want that to happen to our football mm. club. So the next manager that comes in, they'll have sat down and whether they've said that there's going to be a three-year plan, you know, there's going to take time because I don't agree with Mkhitaryan in there about saying it's, a, it's the same kind of philosophy. It's not the same philosophy. Mm. You know, when did you see Arsene Wenger's back four? I know we obviously they had the, they had the famous back four, but that was George Graham's Graham, back four. Yeah. Mm. When did you see them really pressing up? When did you see them playing aggressively and, pr and pressing from the front? So that, that's all new. Mm. And the reaction that you see from the players at, at Stamford Bridge when, when going two goals down to, to then come point. back Great and point. even then create chances to then go and win the game. Mm. I mean, although they lost, but you know, the chances were there. They could have, they could have easily won that game.